I remember uh, back in the day, a couple like a year or two ago, when I talked about this movie when it was upcoming. This could be the highest budgeted uh, video uh, movie uh, for with an all black cast of all time, which it was. Then it's the highest grossing one of that. Uh, all kinds of records, and it just keeps coming. My boy Eric Jerome Dickey. I think I got one of his books. Here. You see this right here? Can you see this? Can you see this storm? Let me move the mic out the way. You see this? My boy Eric Jerome Dickey. Uh, I mean, this isn't the one that John Campy was talking about. But the whole Storm and Black Panther thing, that's T'Challa. That's T'Challa. This is a Storm book, but that's T'Challa when they got mad. I used to work overseas in Iraq for the military. I was contracting with KBR, with, uh, with Morale Warfare and Recreation. And I, I came across a guy named Erica Jerome Dickey by chance. He's, a, he's a, an author. He writes um, uh, romance. And now he does a lot of action books as well. And I was like, dude, I, know, I feel like your car audience is probably mostly like females, black females. And whatnot, and I feel like uh, I feel like an anomaly. Uh, I don't know why I like your your book so much, dude. And he wrote back. And this was this was before social media, really, man. This was this was email. He emailed me back and was like, "You would be surprised how many dudes read my books, man. You would be surprised." I said, "I can't figure it out." And he, we started going back and forth. He told me about himself. He's like, "I'm a comic book dude. I write. I, I love comic books." And, I, and it clicked. That's why. And I did a, I did a, go back, go search Eric Jerome Dickey on this channel. You'll see what I, what I talked about, uh, about, uh, that whole thing on how I became a fan of Eric Jerome Dickey and the whole thing with Storm and the Chala and everything. I said, there, there it is. That's why there's always a, a comic book thing inside of all of his books. Said, That's it. That's why I, it, it was killing me why I, I couldn't uh, figure that out. You know what else is killing me and whether or not. I'm gonna I'm gonna be so paranoid if 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 I find out that this book that this uh, is not doing what it's supposed to do. Let me let me stop the presses for a quick second and just and yeah there we go yeah so it's just I'm sorry man like like Chappelle said what's a black man without his paranoia yeah, keep the headphones on then Chris but no I'm not because uh, you know I look good I look good I like to I like to. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I am bald. You all, you guys know that, but I'm wearing my um, my Aggie Adele because I'm I love Stacy Howard, you know, <sighs> and miss movies too. Brian, Brian, do I say that? Yeah, I've always messed her name up. We collabed once, and she's like corrected me. It's and she's like whatever I said, she said it was the opposite. Well, Chris, you were cool until you messed my name up. But okay, back to this the topic. So Black Panther was it, it just it didn't hit me that this could all happen and i was talking about this with this man way back in the day in the early 2000s and didn't know that we were heading for a situation where black panther would be the first comic book movie deserving in my opinion uh, to be nominated for an academy award now i say deserving for a number of reasons one because if you hate and you know forget you I mean, you didn't write the movie, you didn't make the movie, you don't know what it takes to make the movie. So, yeah. And if you are a movie maker, you just hate, and, and you probably are the guy who, uh, you know, did those Rampage trilogies. Anyway, I felt like, and I put this on Twitter, the emotional impact of what these movies do or give uh, the audience should be taken into consideration too and it was probably the reason why i don't know how they vote they push a button they click pull a lever or whatever it's probably one of the reasons why they voted the way they voted this thing this movie was not voted for or is not getting awards for a lot of the categories it should, should a movie that's that's nominated for best film should be uh, nominated for it's not nominated for any of these things and it's nominated for best film jason rodriguez what's up bro i see you man i, I see his name man yeah uh, hey, Jason, let me tell you something. I'm not Jason Rodriguez. Jason Rodriguez, that's the guy. He, you want to, all right, he, all right, he's in the chat room. He just said, what up, though? Okay, let me tell you what up, though. I'm about to put your business out in the street, bro. Let me tell you. He's the guy. Me and Jason Rodriguez have known each other for uh, about, oh, 20 plus years, right? So, since we were little kids. You know, around Coral Ridge Lane, uh, up there uh, by Willow Ridge High School. Just mess, uh, you know, and we grew up together. His family and my family. And we became roommates uh, when we became adults. We moved out of a parent's house, and we were living together. I don't know who he was. I don't know what it was. It was some tenant 
that uh, that gave him the book suggestion, like Eric Jerome Dickey, the guy who wrote those Black Panther Storm books. And it's like, you want to know, you want to you read a good book, you need to read this. And he was just humoring uh, uh, one of these uh, uh, residents. He was a leasing consultant in the apartment complex that we uh, lived in. And he was like, all right, I'll read it. That book sat on his damn desk for I don't know how long, right? And he wasn't going to read that shit. He was like, okay, I'll read it. <laughs> shit, right. You got to pay your damn rent on time. Yeah, he wasn't trying to. But this person was being nice. You want to read a nice book? Here, uh... You know, you know, read read this, and he didn't read it. And uh, let me, I'm gonna tell him real quick. Uh, would it allow me to? Uh, no, right. he didn't read it, and it sat on his desk for I don't know how long. And and let me let me tell him real fast that I'm talking about. I don't know if he can see it. He's probably scared about what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Hey, Crispy. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Story time. Um, I'm talking about you. Let me write this out. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you on the show. You might want to click back on and watch. <laughs> Uh, oh, there you go. Yeah, he's still there. He's still there. Okay, so you might be worried about what I'm about to say, right? He'd be like, all right, Chris, wait, 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 wait. You didn't say nothing about story time. So, you know, I mean, because uh, me and Jason, like, back then, Jason was like the, is the number one leaser uh, back there, right? And and he uh, he's like, I'm watching. I'm watching. He's like, yeah, I know what you mean when you say that, too. He's like, I'm watching. I'm watching. <laughs> so, uh, like, well, the residents, they were nice. You know, they would, uh, as this, this person gave him a book and said, you want to you wanna read a good book? Read this book by Eric Jerome Dickey. And uh, he didn't read that damn book. I don't, he tells me he read the book. You did not read that damn book. That book, I saw that book. It sat on your damn desk for weeks. And I was working there part-time. And I got so bored one day. I picked this book up. All right. I picked this book up. And Jason, remember, by the way, if you can, uh, I got a thing where you can send uh, questions in to mail at t3medias.com, official questions, or you can send questions right here on the comment section and for movie-related stuff or anything. It doesn't just have to be movies, right? So one day I'm sitting in the desk. I'm like, all right, let me read this thing, right? And I read the first couple of pages. There's a sex scene or something like right there in the beginning, I think. And you know, I'm a 21-year-old dude. I'm like, whoa. And you know, she was doing this and she was doing that. I think the book was called, you know, if, if, if you want to prove to me that you read that book, Jason, what was the book called? Involved with, uh, no, that was not what the, yeah, oh, okay. It too, oh, that, 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 you know, he's commenting what the book was about. For one, you got Google. Two, that's, that was mostly what, all Eric Jerome Dickey's books were about, uh, from the first couple of, like, the first ten books were involving a love triangle. You don't get a fucking pass for reading the synopsis in the back. No, you did not read that book. I don't care what you said. We're best friends, but I know you didn't read the book, because I love having this over you. I've, t I've spoken to Eric Jerome Dickey. He's a dear, dear friend of mine. But you did not read that book. So, I read the book. And me and Jerome Dickey, we talked when I went overseas. I, I said, dude, I don't know why I like your book. He's like, because I, I, I'm a comic book guy. And he, he said, I sprinkle a lot of uh, comic book stuff. And I was like, that's it. That was it. That was the reason why. And then when the second he said that, I, I went back to a, a, a number of his other books. And I was like, oh, wow, yeah, there's a lot of comic book references. And then he told me that Marvel hired him to write a story that was going to involve Black Panther and Storm. And I was like, that's amazing, dude. I can't wait to uh, read it someday. And I'm thinking, that's going to be... A while before I get back home, I wasn't set for an R&R &R vacation uh, until a couple of months later. But when I did go home, I went to my comic book store, Bedrock City, and I wasn't even looking for it. I forgot about this whole conversation. Next thing you know, I see it right there on the shelf, plain as day. Bam. Black Panther and Storm. Holy crap, there it was. I picked it up. I bought it. I bought it and um, I told the guy at the counter, I was talking with this guy, you know, I'm not, I mean, me and him, we're friends, he told me about this a couple of months ago, and the guy was like, yeah, that'll be 250 
get the fuck out of the library. <laughs> I didn't care. <laughs> it was like, just do you buy what? It's not a damn library. So I was like, I don't know. I, was like, I thought that was cool. So, but now moving forward, you know, we got this whole thing with uh, 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 Jason. She creeps up. You, you, you pulled the book up right now. See, you're Googling it, Jason. You Google. Oh, you're never going to convince me. You could be telling 100% the truth, but it's fake news. It's fake news, dude. You're Googling right now. It's Googling. Quit Googling. Why are you Googling? Look, I did, and also, Jason, I need you to come on the show one day, man. Me and you need to talk about some stuff, man, and uh, and, and just some funny stuff we need to uh, let the people know uh, one of these days. So answer questions, whatever we want to do. So, Black Panther's chances of winning an Oscar. Low. They're low. Does it deserve the nomination? Yes. The impact that the movie... This movie had people... You had your, you had your core audience. It made a billion dollars, and this is why. You had your core audience, your, your super fans, your Marvel geeks. Marvel movies have become a genre of its own right now, uh, other than just superhero movies. It's, Mar it's like Marvel films, then superhero movies, right? It was going to... It was, But that's still not... That's enough to get like 500, 400,000, you know, I mean, million, right? That's enough for that, right? They ate a billion. Why? Because you had people who don't usually go to a superhero movie. You had families that went. You had people who don't go to the movies that much. You had black audiences who were like, I don't even watch these types of films. I don't like actions. I don't like comic book movies. Blah, blah, blah. blah, blah. But there's something about this. This is a movement. There's something happening. And you got them to go. They loved it. They told their friends. Word of mouth. People saw it again. So I think that feeling that... that um, Black Panther gave is, is was the consideration of why people voted for it to be nominated. Now, is this a sneaky way to put the whole popular film thing in the best picture category? That category that the Oscars tried to make happen that we was like, mm -mm, and they got rid of? Probably. Maybe that's what this is. Maybe this is the maybe three out of the five or whatever. Three out of five. What did, didn't we say that, Jason? Three out of five. <laughs> one out of five. Maybe one out of five is a popular movie uh, pick, and the rest are like legit, but. I'm not going to say that Black Panther isn't legit. It deserves this because the, if, if not anything, it was a great movie. It did the things that no other movies done before. It, and it uh, not just the money that it made, but the impact that it had on the, on, the, uh, on the box office. That cannot be ignored. And that's probably what the people who work in the Academy, who are professionals, hopefully, uh, not just skipping movies. Oh, Tom Hanks, all right, to best actor, best actor, you know, and didn't even watch it. I hope that they saw it and it gave them that, you know, that sense of um, yeah, this was a good movie, and they um, and that's why they voted for it. That's probably explains why they didn't vote for it for other things, and probably why they voted for it for this. And I think it's deserving. Will it win? I think the chances are low, uh, but if it does, ooh, ooh. And also, we'll go on. We got your mail, and we'll talk about some other things as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. I almost forgot. Am I even wearing the same clothes? Doesn't even matter. Movie magic. Thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. Hit the like button, share with as many people as you can. Please become a subscriber and hit the bell for notification of the next video. You want information on how to send me a message and be on We Got Your Mail? That information is coming up right now. Check this out.